It's got uh, the voice thing going. All right. Just gonna, I got to zoom in a little bit. See, now you want to make sure that you stick with planes of the face. Direction is very important to what you do here. I'm going to do a little bit of the corners of the mouth. Get the nostrils put in. The line of the mouth. I don't like that. And go up here and get some of the dark shadow. Again, this is just for uh, a template. A lot of this will get changed, but I find that it's so much easier to work when you have an idea of what you're doing. Like, I almost treat digital painting like drawing. And really, that's what it is. Where else do I need this? A little bit at the corner. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Stop it. Um, I find that my tablet, because it's so old and it's taped together, will sometimes do its own thing. It will just start. To, oh, I don't know. It'll just suddenly enlarge and shrink things. Okay. So I'm going to start adding a little bit of warmth to the cheeks. No, I still like that better. I'm going to be trying to, or I'm going to try to work with the juxtaposition of warm and cool colors. For instance, I want some of this pink to serve later down the road as part of the reflective light that's in her neck. A little bit on the nose. Put some of this in the forehead. I should mention that eventually you're going to turn off your uh, the drawing. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it will be. This is going to kind of be. You're, you're going to sit and say, "What the? Uh, what? What is he doing? Why is he doing that?" Sometimes I don't know. Um, digital painting, like traditional painting, is, is a very f fluid process for me. I kind of go with my gut instinct. Now I'm going to overlay get a little orange going on in there because there is some evidence of orange in her face. Okay, that's way too bright. 
So again, working with grays, I'm knocking it down a little bit. That's better. Oops, didn't want that. Okay, stop it. See, this is the tablet doing its whatever it wants. I apologize for that. Someday I'll be rich and famous and can buy a nice tablet. Yes. You wanted this big? Yeah. I really hate that. You want to go on an adventure? Well, okay. I'll take the place. Not where you want to go, but I'll take the place. Really? Oops, wrong color there. All right, now let's see. Um, real quick, I need to do something. I forgot to do this earlier. Okay. That way when I turn off the drawing I can show you what it's looking like so far. Notice that I'm just breaking it down into simple values and shapes right now. I would constantly turn the drawing off just to see how it's working for you. And to also I don't remember how am I supposed to uh, change this to grayscale without having to? Oh, if you can, Command Shift, something or other B, then it turns it to black and white. Good but, grief. No, I just, I have the hand movement down. But it'll give you a preview of it. <laughs> there, you can do that. Or if you want to undo that real quick, then you hit. Option Command Shift B. That's way too complicated. <laughs> no, and then it'll go. Oops, come on, thingy. It'll go to black and white. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's on the background layer. That's why, because it goes by layers. Oh. Okay. So you'd have to put it on the painting layer. Okay. And then whoa. 
Whoa. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> What's up with your black and white filter? I don't know. I don't know either. I'll just do it the other way. Okay, well, go for it. But that's usually how I do it, and then we'll just give a quick preview of it in black and white. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Um, thank you for trying. Appreciate it. Okay, back to the painting. Start filling in some of these white gaps a little bit. I'm not concerned about going outside the lines. That's what the eraser tool's for. I'm going to get the uh, basic color of the lips put in. Thank you. And because her upper lip is pretty dark, I want to modify the redness. See, look at this thing. Dang. That's better. Bless you. But I also want to use a little of this red in her uh, nose. Yeah, it's set at pen pressure. Yes, it is. And plus, I, I use um, less of a flow. See, I'm, I'm going very lightly as opposed to really hard. Also going to put some of this in the cheek. And a little bit around the eyes. Damn it, stop it. A what? What does that even mean? <laughs>
But if you buy from them, like, the focus on the they can no games. But, like, anyone else, like, who's selling it, I guess it's kind of, like, you really shouldn't be. And, like, they're selling for a lot more. And they're just being an awful parent. I don't know. I just read something like that. But, moral of the story, you can get it on Amazon for small. Small? 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 <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It doesn't make sense. No, it Well, that's on the screen, but yeah, it's a reddish brown that um, with the opacity, or I mean the pen pressure still on, so basically I'm layering colors. It's not that different. Okay, good. It's just like more. Yeah, I figured it would. Yeah, I know, it looks pretty garish up on the screen. Okay, so as you can see, what I'm doing now is I'm establishing I'm starting to go back in and actually start establishing lights, darks, brown. I'm starting to layer a little bit with color, but maintaining the values. So that a lot of these show through. Because, okay, um, what I did was, I'm the, I'm the type of artist, if I'm going to paint somebody, i got to draw it first. I did a drawing of this. Um, I worked out all the values in black and white in my head. I did a number of practice runs on this. I know that face. <laughs> Plus, I'm also, dis I'm also making my own choices. It's like, yeah, I want it to look like this. Um, Pardon me? Oh.
Does anyone have any questions? I mean, f you can converse as long as you're watching, but uh, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. Excuse me? Paint a log? How so? Okay. Yes, you flatten it. Here's what it, okay, here's what it looks like so far. As you can see, it's planes and shapes. Um, whoops, wrong thing. I'm going to try something else here. I'm just going to desaturate it, see what that does. Okay, see, so it's still working as a grayscale, especially if you squint at it. Now, let's see. Ah, 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 God. Work on lines. Uh, no, it it does this all the time, Everett. <laughs> all the time, trust me. Um, it's old. I don't know if you guys looked at this closely, but the cord's duct taped and hot glued. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I just kind of deal with it. Okay. Why? Why are they having a problem? I don't know. Everyone they come to the table and they're like, well, it's the computer. And they ask me, like, the basic thing, like, reiterating. Like, a teacher will send an entire class and one of the times they ask me the same question all night rather than being like, hey, guys, here's how you print. He's like, ah, I'm too busy. And then send them all to me. But this chick is sitting in the lab just typing a paper really loudly for, like, probably, like, five minutes. He goes, I'm just, bah, 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 the whole thing. And then she turns around and she's like, hey, I got a question. It could. It could. You don't know that it doesn't do that. <laughs> well, did you, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with the recent dust up with the Jennifer Lawrence pictures and all of that. Which, yeah, but um, Michaela Maroney, the gymnast, oopsie doodle, I feel sorry for those guys that decided to uh, download those pictures, if you're aware of what happened with that. Um, you know who Michaela Maroney is? Yep. Um, she was one of the people, she was one of the people hacked, and she was one of the people that they were spreading the images around. Initially, she denied that they were her and that they were fake, and then she came clean and said that they were her. But guess what? She was underage. Are those guys going to go to jail for child They might. Yes! Oh, that is so, so awesome. Um, I feel, but what about, okay, a, a lot of people have been say, raising the question, well, wait a minute, what about her? Isn't she going to get in trouble? Her stuff, but they stole her. Yes, but, but she sent it to somebody. I take, oh, yeah. Yeah.
I don't. <laughs> I know what I I know what I look like, and so do most people, so I don't even bother. Okay. Is this making sense so far? You guys getting this? It's basically back and forth, back and forth on the same layer. What this helps you do is develop speed painting abilities. Okay, if you get, um, if you're going to work in the movie industry, the comic book industry, uh, if you're going to work um, book covers, editorial, anything, people are going to say, "All right, what's this going to look like in color?" And you can send them a quick color rough and just bang, 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 one layer. Um, had, did any of you take Matt Shank for his digital? painting class. It's, it's very interesting because Matt teaches you the, if you were to take a traditional painting method and transfer it to digital, and all those layers and things like that, it's perfect. I'm kind of showing you the down and dirty quick way of getting this done relatively fast. I mean, I've been at this for roughly about a half hour now, and it's, it's shaping up pretty well. So keep that in mind as, as I'm working along this. Now, I'm going to... Damn you. Damn you. Stop it. I give up. I give up. No, I'm using my laptop. Like, I'm using, I'm using the pad. Um... Yeah, because I get the same thing. when I, I'm using the tablet now, and it'll just suddenly go blah, 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 and just disappear on me. Um, so once I get all of this basic stuff down, now you can start the process of refining the image. That needs to be darker. Um, I'll start going in and making sure shapes relate. I will have to go back in and see if I can do this right. I got to go back in and get that nostril taken care of. And this is why you draw on top of the drawing, so you can go back in and say, oh yeah, i got to fix that. Goes down. This goes around here. And a little bit here. Who's laughing? I hear people laughing. We're back in school. You're not supposed to be happy. Okay. Little on the side of the nose. Once you start, once you've got all of this basic stuff down, you can start playing with your brush strokes. You can get a little stylized with the way that you move things. Why does that happen? There we go. Like
maybe even more. I was really surprised at um, how little space an iPad has. Yeah. Um, I just bought my mom an iPad. To well, my sister bought my mom an iPad. I just signed the card. Um, because I can't afford it. But I've got a thumb drive that's got as much space as that iPad has. 16. Uh, she's got the iPad Air or whatever that is. Which is pretty much all she needs. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that's back when you could die from colds and things. You're only 20? Oh. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> that's pretty odd. All right, I'll start adding a little bit in here to darken. Okay, now I think I'll start just quickly laying in s some of the areas around. For instance, her, um, her hoodie. I'm going to keep, whoops, forgot about it. Now that's a really rich blue. It's going to get covered up. But I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Where else can I use it? That'll take forever. And I don't even like it. <laughs> so let's try it again. Oh, wait a minute, I put this in entirely the wrong place. 
Never mind. We'll get back to that part. But where's that blue? And I'm going to keep the um, I'm going to keep her hoodie really rough because I want this to have more of a vignette quality. Get some of that light blue. Um, I do it for my own sanity. Yeah, yeah, because you may, um, you may just want the quick reference. It can't hurt. Yeah, it, it's, it helps me keep track of where they are, and I try to group them according to uh, what they're going to be used for so I don't have to jump all over the place. Okay, and then I'll just kind of jack this up a bit. I did some color picking and then I tweaked, tweaked a lot of it. Um, like, I'm using my own optical, visual sense of things, saying, okay, that ki that's kind of the color I want, but it's probably going to look more like this. You know, and so I, I tweak the colors according to my own sensibilities. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you got to do a lot of playing. Notice I, um, you and it is. It's just I'm still learning digital painting to be honest. Um, but I'm hoping that eventually this painting is going to look. I try to plan it out, but I understand digitally things look go differently than traditional. Traditional, I know what colors mix together because I can take this blue and I can take this yellow and I'll get this green. Digitally, you have to use whatever you know, whatever colors Photoshop gives you or whatever palettes you download, and then you got to play with the color wheels. So you're you could spend hours trying to find the right blue green, and if you got that kind of time, great. If not, Kind of go with, go with your feeling on it. Um, that, that will come uh, towards the end. I've not tried that, no. Uh, this is the process that I'm showing you now. This, I did this, showing, uh, doing, working in the way that I'm showing you now. Um, I should probably practice with that. I might do that over the, uh, you know, before next week. I, I might play around with that and try it out. Notice I haven't touched the highlights at all. That comes towards the end. Um, I'm going to start working the eyes a little more now. Get in there and try to refine what I see going on. What time have we got? Holy crap, my clock reset itself. How did that happen? 
And it says it was, oh, it rebooted to, to yesterday. That's okay. I'll dick with that later. Well, today's the fifth. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Damn it. Sorry, that was just driving me crazy. I need to know the time because I'm obsessed with time. I'm sorry? Yeah, which is really silly when you think about it. Well, Are you still, a, did you ask her if she was still high? No. Hey, I don't care. You do what you want. No, I haven't. I don't have a wife. I just realized I have a lot of reds going on here so I'm gonna try to temper these a little bit with some orangish brown kind of even it out a little bit um, Laura if you th if you want to use the mixer brush please go ahead and do so um, I am like yeah I am not either like I said I'm still learning this I don't, I've gotten some really good results with a smudge brush. Chest hairs? Oh, here. Don't tell her that. Oh, okay, tell her that. Now, Kenzie has blue eyes. If I were to put blue in there right now, it would look just really weird. 
I will go back over it with blue. But for right now, I just want to kind of get a value in there. better. Oh, too light. That does. Um, do what's best for you. Again, I prefer doing things on one layer because it forces me to make choices. It, I have to say to myself, okay, is this really necessary? Because one of the things that I notice with a lot of digital artists that are still in the process of learning is that they they start throwing everything possible into their paintings and without any kind of attention to hierarchy, shape, color, simplicity, and it just really gets to be a mess. Um, see now there um, so yeah I do advise you to do it on one layer because I've seen a lot of students kind of lose the layers forget what layer they're working on do this masterful painting and suddenly realize it was on the wrong layer I'm sure you've seen that Yeah, so, so So yeah, in answer to your question, um, Laura, do what is best for you. I want you to make this process uniquely yours. I'm just kind of showing you how I go about it. Eh, not too bad. It's coming along. Should probably start darkening um, her eyebrows a bit. Yes. You know those little digital ru uh, roughs I'm having you do? That'd be an excellent place. To, you know, just bang out a quick one. Yeah. Uh, keep it, yeah, keep it real simple. And I do apologize because I am trying to get better at this, but I fully, I fully assume that a lot of you probably know more about digital painting than I do. As far as the mechanics, shortcuts, things like that, I, shit, see, and I'm drawn on the wrong layer. Son of a bitch. There. Um, and there's probably a few things that I can learn from you. And I don't have a problem with that. Um, if you remember... I'm just mentioning this, but uh, offering the digital portion of this class is just a decision that I made because so many students are 
becoming digital artists now. I need to get better at this, and I will. Um, I'd also, I'd really like to just kind of turn, not turn this class, but offer another section in digital a la prima, but I have to get way better at it before I can do that. I did too. When I learned it, I did too. That's where this comes in. You're able to experiment with colors, learn some different ways of mixing colors, and then apply it to your own painting. Yeah, it is, and I, I wish people would uh, view it with a little more kindness, but See, that's why I'm offering a lot of the digital aspects of this because, um, to be quite honest, if I don't get the numbers for this class, it will be taken off and it will not come back. And they won't let me teach anything else. So this is it. If I lose this class, then I'm, I'm out money. <laughs> and I need money. Just like you guys do. So if you think this class is valuable and if you feel that uh, there are areas that can be improved, let me know so I can make those changes and you know make the class more effective. Ah, there we go. Let's start getting some of that brow in there. Okay, let's take a look. Ta da! Okay, I better put some of her hair in there. Uh, wow, what happened? Oh, I. How, how much time did I spend doing what? I spent a, prob a considerable amount of time. I think this QuickTime movie, Rachel, is really messing with my palette thing here. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Um, it's really slowing things down. Um, so I would do a little bit over time, a few hours a, or an hour or two a day. Okay, I'm gonna. I am gonna stop it because I'm really concerned about this crashing again. Okay, thank you for having me.